Welcome to Smoky CNC Woodworks. I'm Brian, and today this is embarrassing. I just did a podcast over the importance of being on time with videos to help your YouTube ranking, and I'm like, I have got nobody to blame but me. I waited till the last minute last night. Was going to do a project, got it all set up, ran out there to run it. Only about 20 minutes in realized, oh my gosh, I programmed you in the wrong bit. So it was really a messed up looking thing. So rather than go out there at 11, 12 o'clock last night, I thought, you know, I'll just hit it tomorrow. I just have to be late. Hope everybody understands. Sometimes it happens. So as most of you already know, I really like doing patriotic stuff, uh, American flag stuff, all kinds of things like that. And I've done a couple in the past that uh, actually one for sure was a bisected snake that said join or die. I love Revolutionary War, American Revolutionary War history. Uh, I just eat it up. I watch every documentary I see and read all about it I can. Just love it. So today, clearly, we're going to do a little Revolutionary War emblem that was from back then. The last one was a bisect, bisected snake. This one's going to be a Don't Tread on Me snake. And hopefully it'll come out pretty good. The clip art looks really good. And look like it's actually good. So that's what we're going to do today. So let's go.
was. I think it came out great. I like it. If I can hold on to it. The last one I did was a jointer die. The bisected snake that held a little section with the 13 colonies around it. And within 15 minutes of the video airing, I sold it. Somebody out of I don't know, New Mexico or Arizona, someplace, they message me, say, hey, I want to buy it now. And so I sent it. Usually when I'm doing stuff like this, it's not on order. It's usually just stuff for me, just because I like to have some of this stuff hanging around. And uh, <laughs> right now I don't have any hanging around at all sold. Guess I better get on the ball. This was just a straight V-carve cut, 90 degree V. Uh, wasn't a lot of guessing game to it. The only thing was getting the artwork together. I had to do some manipulation to it to get it to really come out right on the computer. Uh, other than that, this one wasn't that difficult. Wondering why I put it in birch. Here's why I put it in birch. That early American stain does awesome on birch. And I thought it was just fitting, since I was doing something Revolutionary War, to use early American stain. So guys, that's going to be it for this one. If y'all haven't done show yet, run over there and check me out at Smoky Uncuffed. You can find me on podcast, on the website of the same name, and also on my YouTube channel, Smoky Uncuffed. And if you hadn't done so yet here, please subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time.